Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today we have something different, a 2005 GMC Sierra single cab. This truck right here is my truck and I'm gonna take all the imperfections and put that blame on me because this truck has spider webs, bird droppings, dirt, debris, water spots. That is deceiving the look of the vehicle. But in today's video, I'll show you guys how to properly maintain your ceramic coating car whenever it gets this filthy. Let's get to it. To start off, let me just give you guys a background about this. So I just left out of town, I left it parked in front of my lawn and the sprinklers got to it. Unfortunately, no one moved it. The water spots are etched into the paint, but luckily like me, I have a ceramic coating on it that is hydrocharged. So whenever you have a ceramic coating on your vehicle, the water will still be sitting on the surface, but it won't etch in if you remove it safely and easily as possible. So today I'll be treated into a two bucket method wash because this truck is filthy. You guys might not see it, but you guys come close you guys can see there's like, I, I think I, I didn't wash this until like fourth, before 4th of July. I think that was the last time I washed it. 4th of July, I did not wash it. I washed it beforehand because there was fireworks on it. But now that I look on it, there's actually ash all over it. And that can deceive the look of the vehicle. If not, it could penetrate the clear coat and damage it forever. So like I was saying, I'm treating it to a two bucket method today and I'll be using Hydro Suds. So Hydro Suds is a ceramic enhancing soap that has SiO2 properties in it. If you do not have a ceramic coated vehicle, it still works for you. It's still gonna produce amazing suds and it's still gonna allow to give the paint some type of protection for a certain amount of time. But if you have a ceramic coating like Hydro Charge, Hydro Slick, it's going to enhance the beading properties and make it last as long as it can. So before anything, I forgot to open up the spout and take off this plastic. So now that I just removed it, we're good to go. So right here, I have my torque foam cannon. All I need to do is remove the head from the top. And now I'll grab my hydro suds and I'm just gonna apply two ounces. So I have, I overfilled my bottle. So dump a little bit out. And then it has metering right here. So I'm gonna drop it down to the 900 just so I can make sure I have enough soap in there. Drop it in there. All right, we're at the 900. So now it's time to apply Hydro Suds into my bottle. So then you go ahead and go right here and just squeeze it until you get to the 1000 mark. That was a perfect squeeze. I'll put my Hydro Suds to the front and now I'll grab my torque foam cannon head and put it at the front, on top of the bottle I mean, and then I'll stir it. You want to stir the product because you do not want any foam inside the bottle, you want more foam on the paint. So after I did that, now it's time to insert my dirt trap. You always want to insert it at an angle so you could cause a permanent seal and it does not rise back up while you're washing. If you're not familiar with a dirt trap, a dirt trap is this filtration system that all you need to do is just apply that 12 inch diameter bucket and the cones at the bottom is going to filter any grime, debris that is coming off of the paint and won't let it rise back up. So insert it right there. And now beforehand, we got to go over this part. You always want to have two different color dirt traps because you want to make sure you do not cross contaminate. By that, I mean you always want to have a rinse bucket and you always want to have a wash bucket. If your car is filthy, not filthy, light grime, light debris, you still need to use a dirt trap to achieve a scratch-free wash. And now the wash mat I'll be using today is going to be the Chanel wash mat. It's amazing because one, I love that banding. If you love us, show us off while you're washing. The Chanel wash mat is super soft, super plush. The noodle liked is going to encapsulate any dirt and it's not gonna let it come back onto the surface after I come back to the rinse bucket. So I'll hang it up right here. And now I'll be using the Torx Nubby. So the Torx Nubby is a compact pressure washer wand. You do not have a long stick that can potentially damage the paint. So if I come near my paint and I get this close, I have in control of it. Compared to a pressure washer that has like this and I have to hold it with two hands, I personally don't like holding it with two hands, just one hand. Spray it down and you're good to go. So beforehand, before I start foaming up the vehicle, it's time to prep the bucket. So my left dirt trap and my right dirt trap, red is going to be a rinse, right is going to be my wash bucket. So let me just apply one ounce, that's all I need. Put that down. So now we're gonna go ahead and rinse down the vehicle just to knock off any little scrum or debris. And then we'll start foaming it up with the torque foam cannon and hydro suds. Woo, woo, woo. So I just finished rinsing down my truck and the grime unfortunately did not come off. Like if I come right here, the bird dropping that is on here is still stuck on there. 
bird jump that's on there, stuff stuck on there. And this is why we need a soap that will penetrate the grime, the bird droppings, and help me remove it safely and easily as possible. Because if I was just to grab my finger and just start scratching it down, I can potentially damage the hood on my truck. And also, before I forget guys, the hood on this truck is not ceramic coated because it was just recently painted and I am allowing it to cure. So if you do not be see beating effect on here, that is completely fine. You can blame it on me. I will make sure I ceramic coat it. But everything else around this truck is ceramic coated, including the glass. Hydro Slick does an amazing job to keep me from using my wipers on my truck. But now it is time to foam it up. It's time to lather it up with amazing suds. This truck's gonna go from silver, dark, coal, dark charcoal to white using hydro suds. So beforehand, I need to activate the suds on my wash bucket, spray it down. Look, little to no pressure and it activates suds. And hydro suds, a lot of people always comment down below, it looks watery. It does not look like any of our other soaps that are thick. That is correct, because it has SiO2 properties in it. But the suds that it produces, it's millions of suds that are very slick and is not going to harm the clear coat. And it's going to allow the paint to get some type of protection if you do not have a ceramic coating. So now it is time for me to lather it up using the torque foam cannon. So let's get to it. You gotta always gotta add sound effects. How thick the suds are that hydro suds produce. Like, look, let me just grab my wash mitt. I'll grab my wash mitt and it's already rinsed. So I'm gonna come right here and you guys can see how thick that suds are. That is all lubricated. That is not going to harm the finish of my truck. It's removing any dirt, grime, debris that might be sitting on the surface. Then this is why we recommend coming to the rinse bucket. You come to the rinse bucket, you scrub it at the bottom of the dirt trap. The dirt trap is pulling everything out of your wash mitt so you get a scratch free wash. And you guys can see this wash mitt does not have any grime because I went down there, scrubbed it with the micro braces and it pulled everything off. So once you already rinsed it off, you come to the side and just wring it out. So you can grab everything out. And now you come to your soapy bucket, dunk it right here. And now you'll go to the highest point of the vehicle. I was just showing you guys how sudsy it was right here. But whenever you're washing the car, we recommend going to the highest point of your vehicle and scrubbing in one direction. And yes, this truck does have a gloss wrap on it. So Hydro Suds is safe for any glossy wraps. Come back up here and just scrub it down. And you guys can see how lubricated it is. So after two passes, I'll flip over my wash mitt to a clean side. And I'll do the same exact thing around the whole car. Linear motions, never go in circles because if I pick up a rock chip, any dirt, grime, debris, and I start going in circles, I have more of a chance to cause a swirl mark, which a swirl mark is more noticeable than a scratch. And a scratch is actually easier to remove than a swirl mark. Swirl marks are diffi difficult and you want to avoid them as much as possible. So now I'll come back to my rinse bucket. Same exact thing, rinse it off. Come to the outside, wring it out, and you guys can see how clean it is. So guys, I'll go ahead and finish up this truck and I'll show you guys the after.
ahead, it's time to protect it. A cool protectant I like to use is Hybrid VL7. So keep in mind, my truck is ceramic coated and Hybrid VL7 has invisible sealing technology that's going to enhance any ceramic coating on any vehicle. So yes, ceramic coating, I recommend using this. If your car's still wet, spray it on there and the sealant is going to cause water tension to disperse. And when you come with a drying towel, for example, I have my favorite woolly mammoth towel. This towel dries up my whole entire truck. I'll come close and I'll just give it a single pass. And you guys can see, the water tension is no longer there. It gave it a mirror-like finish. So guys, I'll finish up my whole entire truck. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you saw any of these products on this video, make sure to check out the link down below. They'll be linked down there. And we'll see you guys next time, right here at the Camo SD Tourage. Oh, don't forget, leave a comment down below if you guys want to see.